Truth Zero because your lifestyle matters. I'm Charlene Pignon and today on Real Talk with Char, we're going to be talking about cellulite. I have received many questions about this and like I was explaining to one of our subscribers when she messaged me, cellulite occurs when the fat deposits push through the layers of connective tissue. So there really is no way to completely get rid of it, but there is a way to strengthen those collagen fibers to help or prevent the appearance of cellulite. Now I've done my research, but there's a lot of myths and facts out there. So grab your pen, paper, or your notepad on your phone, whatever works for you, and take some notes. Now we're going to start with your diet. It's no surprise here that anything that has to do with your skin, fat storage, weight, and overall physical appearance has to do with what you eat. For example, avoid too much sugar. Why? Because sugar gets stored in fat cells, which causes them to expand. Nutritionists recommend to consume no more than six teaspoons a day. So make sure you flip over that food item and look at the serving size of the sugar. And of course our favorite, salt. We put salt in everything. Lower your sodium intake. Salt causes fluid retention, which makes the appearance of cellulite look worse. So try to stay away from foods containing no more than 200 milligrams of sodium. Like everything, make sure to look at the serving size. Many foods might say 200 milligrams, but then they say in a serving size of half a cup. And if you have four cups, you've had already over 800 milligrams of sodium. So just make sure you pay attention not only to the milligrams of sodium and sugar, for example, but also to what serving size goes along with that milligrams or grams of sugar. Something else to include, H2O, human basic survival people. One of the main things that you need to keep account of is to stay hydrated throughout the day. It's not only extremely important for your overall health, but it will also keep your connective tissue strong and even help you slim down. This is hard for me to say as well because it's actually really hard for me to drink water throughout the day. So some tips to keep in mind of. You can pick up a gallon of water at Publix for 79 cents. The thing about me is that I can carry a gallon of water, but I'm so picky when it comes to the temperature of my water. I love my water to be icy cold. And if you're a visual person like I am, a pretty water bottle actually goes a long way. Not only is it cute, but I can also go ahead and replenish it with icy cold water and actually drink it. Another thing to keep in mind is to include foods that have high water content, like cucumbers, bell peppers, tomatoes, which all surprisingly contain more than 90% water. Lastly, add some flaxseed to your breakfast. Flaxseed not only helps support estrogen levels, but it also helps to boost your collagen fibers. Collagen holds your body together. If your connective tissues are not strong, that's where your fat deposits push through and create those really cottage cheesy dimples around your thighs. That's why collagen is so important. So sprinkle two tablespoons on your oatmeal, yogurt, shake, or you can even have the seeds alone if you're about that life. Now, if you know me, you know I love going the natural way. The only reason why I say this is because why are you going to put something in your body that not only costs thousands of dollars, super expensive, and has long-term side effects? It's not worth it. Love yourself. Remember, this is about maintaining, not about being perfect. Now, before I get into the natural remedy that I researched, I'm gonna tell you why I decided to research this natural remedy. So, I was in LA Fitness about a month ago, and I always like to go in the sauna 10 minutes before my workout just to, you know, get start sweating and opening my pores. And I walk in the sauna and I have this coffee aroma, just like a whiff of coffee aroma as soon as I walk in. It's really dark, so I really don't see a lot of people in there. But I do see this lady in the corner laying down covered in some black stuff. So I'm thinking, coffee aroma, black stuff? This lady just put coffee scrubs on herself. <laughs> and I thought it was just a great idea, it's a cool idea. I never thought of coffee and what the benefits that coffee has. As I'm sitting there basically getting a caffeine high, I decided to do some research on my phone and see what, what are the benefits of coffee and why is this lady putting coffee on her body? And to my surprise, coffee has a lot of good effects, which is crazy because if you really do the research, caffeine is the number one enemy of cellulite, but not in the topical version. 
By topical, I mean as it, instead of consuming it, you're putting it on your body. And yes, there's a lot of skin firming creams that do help prevent the cellulite. But studies have found that retinoids, which is also known as retinol over the counter, provide temporary effects by creating a thicker skin cover that camouflages the bumps. Because that's what these companies want. They obviously want you to keep buying it because the moment you stop using it, bam, dents start popping up everywhere. I have nothing against um, these prescription drugs or over-the-counter drugs. I'll power to you if you use it and you like to use it. But the way that I see it is that if you're going to try to live a long, healthier life, why not use natural remedies that don't really give you any long-term effects in the long run? Of course, I thought of this lady, and when I was doing the research on it, it showed that caffeine is an antioxidant topically, so it helps tighten, firm, and just boosts your circulations and break down the fat cells. And what was I talking about earlier when I said what cellulite is? It's fat cells, right? Now, after looking at thousands of health databases, nutrition databases, I found just one really good recipe that I wanted to give you um, when it comes to caffeine scrubs and I want to try it on myself because I'm never going to tell you to try something if I don't believe in it first. So that's why I really put a lot of amounts of hours in research for this. One really good one that I liked, it's one cup of coffee grounds, six tablespoons of coconut oil, three tablespoons of sea salt or sugar, and of course an empty jar. Now if you're going to be using the coconut oil, like the hard coconut oil, then you would have to melt it in the microwave. I would say about 10 seconds is more than enough. Just, go, it's just so it could become a pasty form and then you can mix it all together and make it into your own scrub at home. Apply before or during your shower and massage it in circular motions. Or you can also apply it in the sauna like my girl LA Fitness. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try that though. Our last tip of the day is exercise. Exercise helps firm and tone the muscles, which in turn tightens the skin. So it's no surprise that this is part of the list. And when I mean about exercise, I'm not just saying cardio. Cardio is amazing and I recommend it to everyone. But just doing cardio alone is not going to help you reduce the, the appearance of cellulite. To really smooth out your skin, you've got to strength train. As a matter of fact, one study by researchers at South Shore YMCA in Quincy, Massachusetts, found that adults who did 30 minute aerobic exercises each week for eight weeks lost four pounds but gained no muscle. So in other words, they only slightly improved their body composition. They lost the weight and they shed the weight, but they only improved slightly their body composition. Now, when they paired it with 15 minutes of aerobic activity and 15 minutes of strength training three times a week, not only did they lose 10 pounds of fat, they also added two pounds of muscle, which means they looked better and they definitely lost some of the jiggle. Next week, I will go over a workout routine that can help target the butt and thighs, as well as some strength training moves that help you build muscle and boost circulation. That's all that we have for today. If you have any questions or any concerns on what you heard today, please don't hesitate to email me, send me a DM, or even right here on the comment, whatever you'd like. I really am encouraged when you guys like my video. It makes me know and believe that what I'm doing is truly inspiring you and helping you out. So please give me a little inspiration back. Give me a like, a subscribe, to know that you like what you're hearing. I hope you all have a great weekend. I love you guys. And till next time.